We're going to be talking about the Leon Kennedy haircut, and I'm just going to break this down. So the one thing about this is obviously the hair texture, and you want to make sure that you have fairly straight hair for this. If you don't have straight hair, or it's a little bit more on the wavier side, or even a little bit curly, you're going to have to straighten your hair, right? And it doesn't have to be permanent, but it needs to be blow dried straight or something because that really what it comes down to, his hair is straight, okay? Also, another thing is that it has a lot of movement to it. So in through here, there's a few ways you can go about doing that. If you have really, really thick hair and you feel like it tends to be bulky, you can create uh, an undercut underneath here, right? A longer undercut and let all this hair kind of come over and hang over the top this way. That's a really good solution to make the hair look uh, not so heavy. Another thing is cutting the hair, right? And if you, you actually can do this, I don't suggest doing it. It's a little risky, but I, if you have, this is a, raise, a feather razor. This is a professional hair cutting tool. What you need to do if your hair is a bit on the thicker side, okay? What you can do is you can take sections of the hair like this. Make sure it's dry when you do this and try to feel where that bulk is. Feel where the heaviness is and then with the razor, you want to lay it as flat as possible. So here's a little trick. If you, obviously the higher or the more pointed up, you're not going to cut anything. But the more you turn this way, just slowly turn until you start to barely scrape any hair off. And I can sit here like this for hours and not cut anything. The more you turn in, the more you're going to start to take off. So you want to lay this flat and then slightly turn in and you can see it's removing just little sections of hair. So feel where the hair is heavy and then what you're doing is you're removing that weight and that makes the hair a lot softer and more wispy in through here and you see that in a lot of these gaming characters their hair is just it's so straight it's perfectly soft and, and silky smooth and you know it allows for that kind of that that awesome look okay so it's really that simple it's nothing too complicated when it comes to the length of the hair, what I do suggest is having it more on a triangular type of haircut where it's going a bit you know, sh shorter to longer this way. You can have it somewhat even, but you gotta make sure this front, these front pieces here are at the longest point of the entire haircut because that's really what makes his, uh, his hair look so good, right? is, is having it a bit longer uh, right throughout the front here. So for blow drying it, you know, I would suggest using my 25 spray, which is my number one selling uh, pre-styling product here, 25 spray. Also a brush, a round brush. This is a thermal ceramic round brush, which means it's going to actually help protect your hair when using it uh, while you're blow drying. I do have these on my, my website shop.thesalonguy.com. So when you're blow drying it, you know, you need a brush like this to really get that hair nice and smooth and nice and straight. And then you can use something like Sleek, which is my smoothing serum, a little bit through the hands. And then, because a lot of these characters, you notice their hair is very, very shiny. And that's, I mean, obviously because they're characters, they're animated characters. But if, in real life, if you want the hair to look very shiny, you can apply it, it helps defrizz, and it's a great product. And then you just really comb it into place, and then you are good to go. When you go to shop.thesalonguy.com, if you use code YouTube20, you get 20% off. That's YouTube20, YouTube20, shop.thesalonguy.com, and it's also free shipping in the United States.